rather than viewing the MVC, <laughs> might as well call it, don't need to spell it out when you're reading, just scan over the unimportant parts, antinomian or antinomian controversy as the inevitable blank. And so there's a lot of verbiage here, that whole Massachusetts Bay Colony antinomian controversy is meant to throw you off. Look at the structure of the sentence, the inevitable blank of intransigent opposing forces. Opposing forces. Intransigent is unyielding, so everyone's really taking their side. The sides are inevitably going to do what? Well, they're going to clash. That's my word, these opposing forces. So I look at the first blank, melding these nice coming together, dissolution coming apart. Collision, though, is clash. Oh, that works well, so I click C. Then I look at the second blank and the third blank, and I see that, ah, they follow the same structure. Opposing forces of radical and blank beliefs. So the second blank has to be the opposite of radical. I look and I see orthodox, opposite of radical. Third blank. Well, first we have male and female piety. Obviously, male is the opposite of female. They wouldn't say male and blank piety and expect us to put in female. But for the third blank, we have blank and secular power, meaning the opposite of secular. So of or relating to the church, I look at cerebral. And I say, well, secular and cerebral, since oftentimes they just go together. So it doesn't necessarily mean they're the opposites. Civil, that doesn't work. And I see clerical, the clerisy, the church, the opposite of secular. There are my answers.